Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to another video from Ling Ling. Today I'm filming from San Diego, California. Yes, I'm traveling around America for six weeks before I'm going back to Beijing. And right now I'm with my friend here in San Diego. So today's video is going to be quite personal and I'm a little nervous about talking about this, but I want to share because I kind of hope that some of you guys have gone through something similar or if you're going through it, we can talk about it and like support each other so yeah anyways I came up with this idea just a few minutes ago actually I'm quite spontaneous by the way YouTube suggested me to watch this video from Mark Ferris who is a really really cool guy in UK and he made a video the real reason for why he's single and some of the things he said I could really relate you know I was like oh my god he's so right he was like it's really hard if I find someone are they with me because I have a big YouTube channel or the opposite are they even able to like accept that I want to do YouTube full-time I'm not a full-time youtuber yet but I have a feeling that it's gonna happen at some point so that one is quite tricky but what is even more tricky is that you guys know I kind of like Asian guys right so of course I'm not saying no just because you're not Asian but when I look at an Asian guy I'm like oh my god he's really handsome oh my god he's really cute you know so the problem here is basically that when I'm in China dating in China if I tell them that I'm interested in becoming a full-time youtuber they're like oh but it's such an unstable job and I'm like yeah, but it also gives you a lot of freedom and you can travel and they're like, oh, but we don't like you to travel on your own. Of course, I'm not saying everyone is like this, but I have been bumping into this problem quite a few times already. They just don't really understand this independence I need, this freedom I need. I'm not saying that I'm gonna travel around the world all the time, but I, even though I have a base in Beijing, I know for sure that I'm gonna do fam trips, press trips, Later on, I want to do like a weekend in Singapore, a week in Korea, you know, that's that's my plan for the future, right? So that's one of the problems when I'm looking for if I'm meeting a Chinese guy. So I have met some who would kind of accept that I was doing this on my own, but they're so worried all the time and it's just sometimes a little too much for me. So when I came over here, I haven't been abroad for a year, or like I haven't been in the West for a year. I was it for Christmas uh, back home in Denmark for like two weeks, but I didn't really talk to anyone apart from my parents and my friends. So when I came to America, I started bumping into these like Asian Western guys and I was just like, oh my God, they're so handsome. Like they're working out over here. They're dressed like I like people to dress and they understand my sarcasm when we're talking. It's fun. It's really hard to translate the sarcasm into Chinese and then I kind of just drop it and it's not that much fun. It's still fun, but it's not that much fun. I know I have high requirements as well and I've been talking to my friends over here a lot about this because I was like I meet this Asian Western Asian guy and he's like so handsome he's so cute we're having so much fun but he's not he's texting me back but he's not texting texting so I'm used to in China the Chinese guys they text a lot and like if I text them they'll text me back immediately right so I'm used to that so when I come here I just expect them to also do it here which they obviously don't because it's a different culture I know that I know but I just forget I guess then another issue is that I also realized when I was traveling around here and meeting these really cute guys not not saying that I'm bumping into cute guys all the time but I've met a few on my way around and you know I was like these I could you know I would love to date a guy like this who's like a little more western winded but still kind of is interested in what I'm saying about China but they would obviously never come to Beijing with me you know and I want to stay in Beijing for the next few years anyways and I was thinking to myself but do you really, do you think that you would travel or like move to America or Canada or Australia just to be able to find a husband? And you're probably wondering, wondering why don't you just go back home and find a Danish guy? And that could also be an option, but <clears throat> in Denmark it's very hard to find people who are interested in China in general. And China is such a big 
part of my life. You guys know, you've seen my videos. Like, it's a huge part of my life. So, if that other person is not interested whatsoever, he's gonna be so tired of hanging with me because I'll always, in some kind of way, put China into my conversations, talk about it. Yeah, so these last few days have been a little depressed and when I saw this video from Mark, I was just like, he's so right about the whole YouTube thing, but then on top of the YouTube problem, then there's also the cultural one or like people located in the wrong places. So I've met a few guys, two guys who came back from abroad, like they've been in America for a while, quite a long time, and then they came back to China and I was like, oh, that's interesting, like they speak really great English, we really... Like we hit it off but then again they had picked up the western ways you know like not texting you back or needing their freedom not having time being businessmen and maybe i've just been unlucky i don't know i maybe that's the case but it's just oh i it's as what i'm saying is just like these days i just realized that's my problem I'm looking for a westernized guy with an Asian look and they're usually abroad and they're usually not interested in coming to China and right now I cannot see myself moving to another country just because of this like okay I'm still only 25 I'm not in a crazy rush but in China everything is always about marriage so I of course I get affected by it you know I don't want to be affected and when I get when I travel overseas everyone's like oh you're only 25 no problem blah 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 you're gonna be fine and I'm just like yeah of course I'm gonna be fine and then I go back to China and people are like marriage 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 and I'm just like oh stress <laughs> Guys, he's stressing me out. So I know there are a lot of different kind of people in the world and I know that Beijing is huge and I also know that I don't get out enough. Like when I'm in Beijing, I stay in my dorm or I try now, I try to go to more networking events, but in general, I stay a lot of the time in my dorm or around campus and in campus there are only like foreigners who really want to get drunk and then Chinese who study all the time. That's basically it. And I don't just like run around the streets and randomly approach people and, and socialize. I did an internship as well, but I was there with a few students who like came for three months and left again, you know, and they're all new to China. They don't know much about China. And to be honest, like people who doesn't know anything, don't know anything about China, it's just, it's kind of a turn off for me. Like, unless they really want to learn and want to listen to what I have to say, but if not, mm. So yeah, I... I just needed to share, I guess, like, how do you guys feel? You're also stuck in this situation that you know that you could probably find a more suitable boyfriend or girlfriend in another place than where you are at right now. I, I don't know, maybe I'm the only one stuck in this situation. I hope not. I really hope that some of you guys can relate or, you know, be nice in the comments, if, even though you can't relate. As I said, I'm not saying that it has to be Asian, Asian all the time, but I'm just saying that I'm kind of... I like the Asian look, you know, but if there are so many cultural differences and language and location different, like I don't do long distance. Like if you're in Vancouver or in San Francisco and I'm in Beijing, it's impossible. Like let's be honest here, long distance is just, it's bullshit. Some people say that it's possible, but I cannot do that. It's not for me. So yeah, I guess that's the real reason why I'm single. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I should just get out more in Beijing. The thing is also if I find someone in Beijing who is like not Chinese nationality, then they're gonna leave because Beijing is not a place where people stay. They're always going to leave at some point, a year, two years, and a lot of foreigners who go to Beijing, they're there for the fun, for the drinking. I'm a little depressed, I'm sorry, I'm trying to cheer up here. La la la, the sun is shining, everything is good, Ling Ling, you'll be fine, you're traveling, you're living life, it's awesome. Hey, guys, I hope that this was not too boring for you, I'm sorry if it was, but I just felt like sharing. Anyways, thank you for watching this little video, please follow me on my social media channels, check out my Patreon, check out my Ling Ling Skype Me project or Skype Ling Ling project if you need any advice on China. Have a nice evening wherever you are in the world and I'll see you again very very soon. Ling Ling's out. See ya and bye. Bye bye.